So last week I did a video on the on updating the GPS file on the Nikon D5300 DSLR and today I'll show you um, what I normally do uh, before taking pictures to enable the uh, GPS and I just want to say that the GPS feature on the Nikon D5300 is not as good as the GPS on cellular cameras so uh, it only works outside it uh, does not work indoors unlike a uh, cell phone camera now I'll turn on the um, my camera and the first thing I do is I'll go into the menu now for demonstration purposes um, I've set the date and time to uh, January 1st 2017 and 12.03 p.m. now um, the thing is with the GPS you can automatically uh, synchronize the date and the time uh, with this camera and that's what I normally do the first thing I you have to make sure is that the time zone is correct for your region uh, I'm in the Eastern Time Zone, which is New York, Toronto, Lima, and that's UTC minus five. So, after the time zone is correct, I go into the uh, setup uh, menu and I go to location data, and I push the button here, and it says lo uh, record location data off. Uh, I'm going to go into the GPS options. And uh, normally for the standby timer, it's set to off. Sometimes I'll turn it on. The reason why um, it is set on off is to conserve battery. If you set it on to on on, what happens is when the camera goes on standby, the GPS uh, is maintained, so it does drain the battery. That's one of the reasons that I use a battery grip. The next setting here is I can set the clock from the satellite I normally set this to on and in the last video I basically uh, showed how to update the AGPS data I'm gonna do this again because this is normally what I do every time I uh, go for a shoot so uh, it comes up with saying update uh, the AGPS data the current one on the camera memory is 916 to 930 uh, we're within that date, but I'll answer yes. And it's highlighted, and I just click on OK. So it's going to update the AGPS data. It takes a few seconds. And once it's updated, it says update complete, and it shows the uh, date, uh, the date range. I'm going to click on OK. And for this purpose, I'm going to put standby timer to off. Uh, the only reason, as I mentioned, to keep it to on is because when the camera goes on to standby mode, uh, the GPS locking feature will, it will not be locked onto the GPS, and it takes a... Uh, a few seconds to a minute to lock onto the GPS uh, location depending on um, on different things like uh, where you are if there's tall buildings blocking the GPS signal etc so I'm gonna uh, go back and log list I normally don't log it but uh, we go into record GPS data I set it to on. And once it's set to on, you'll notice on the bottom where the battery is, the GPS thing will start flashing. And when you go into the uh, main shooting screen, 
the main screen, you'll notice that the uh, GPS is right here and it's flashing. Okay, once it uh, locks onto a GPS, uh, there's going to be three bars. Um, takes a few seconds, as I mentioned. And it should hopefully lock on within a minute or so. And this is one of the reasons why um, you might consider keeping the standby uh, lock on GPS activated if you have a lot of spare batteries because when you want to take a picture, if on standby mode, it's going to take a while for it to lock onto the GPS uh, look, uh, satellites. So it's still flashing away. It, uh, there's two uh, satellites that it uh, locked onto, just waiting for it to lock onto the third. And it has locked onto the third. So I'll show you that now it's locked on. And if I take a picture, the location data will be um, entered onto the, uh, the uh, JPEG uh, data uh, of the, the image of the JPEG. Now, if I go to date and time, and you notice, as I mentioned, I set it to an arbitrary date. You'll notice now that it's set to today's date and the time is accurate. So everything is uh, working great. So I'm going to turn off the camera. And basically that's uh, describing the GPS feature of the Nikon D5300. As I mentioned, indoors, the GPS will likely not work, and if you do not update the GPS data, uh, it will take forever if it actually does lock on to the uh, GPS satellites. Personally, I've never gotten it to lock on when I did not have the up-to-date uh, GPS data file on it. If you have any questions, please place a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer it. And if you like uh, videos on technology and on the Nikon D5300 or Nikon D5600 cameras, please consider subscribing to my channel uh, where you'll be notified of new videos. Thanks.